I've been hearing about these inexpensive but great, I don't know, hooks from Amazon, so I thought I would get a set. Now, I have to confess, I was a little surprised, A, how inexpensive they were, B, what the list of inclusions were. So let's jump in and have a look. I bought this set. Now, the link for this is in the description. It is an a Amazon affiliate link. It included all of these things. Now, I have to say, it came really fast. I did order it with my Amazon Prime account. I highly recommend Prime. If you can, grab it. It's got so many inclusions. You've got free expedited shipping. Even in Australia, I ordered this one day. It was here the next. So if you need a hook size for something, this is a really great way to do it. You can also get a free trial of Prime. I've popped the link for that in the description as well. I don't know what I was expecting to receive. Now, I did make the conscious effort to not read the Amazon reviews. So when it arrived, I was kind of shocked how it came in its packaging, okay? Not, not in a bad way or anything, but just surprised. So let's jump over and have a look. It has arrived kind of like a little flat pack. It's like really thin. Um, it just came in a big padded envelope, which I, because the images have got the little pencil case, I was kind of just expecting a little package just with the pencil case and everything was shoved into it. So let's get this bad boy open. I mean, the packaging is cute. Oh, there's tape as well. They really, really want you to be sure that you want to get into it, don't they? Okay, so are we ready? Let's go. Um, is there a right way and a wrong way? Let's. All right, we've got this. We've got our cute little pencil case, and that's it. Okay. So first things first. It is a very um. That's a bizarre thing to have on the back. Stay away from me. I'm not sure what that's about. There's definitely something in the pencil case as well. So we get all our hooks flat packed. We get a little vial with a pile of weaving. Actually, that's that's a great little vial and that's solid plastic. How many weave-in needles have we got here? I'm a fan of the bent tip needles, so these aren't those. But these are a solid needle. They've got large eyes. I don't know if you can see the eye there. They've got the large eyes. And there's two, four, six, eight, nine of these. It looks like they're various lengths, but similar thicknesses, if that makes sense. Let me just have a little look here. Yeah, various lengths. But out of our 73 items, this is nine. And I would hazard a guess that this is 10. So like the container would be 10, I'm guessing. Let's have, we'll count all that up later. All right, we also have a little row counter. It's very stiff. It probably just needs a little bit of love. A little row counter or round counter, which are always handy. Then we have, this would be a darning ring. Feels like it's a, it's a metal ring that you would just put on for while you're darning to you know, to stop yourself from being stabbed in the fingers. Okay, so we've got our hooks, which I will open those up shortly. In the pencil case, because there are goodies in here as well. There's actually quite a lot of goodies in here. Let's have a look. So it's a very plasticky little pencil case, but it does have box corners. If you can get them to do their thing. There we go. Set it all out. So it will open up and be a little flat guy. So that'll be good once we get everything in there. So in here we have a tape measure. I'm just going to check that this is in actual inches because sometimes they're not in inch in like the American inch. No, there we go. That's inches and inches and centimeters. So that's correct. That's just one of those little sort of inexpensive it's the quality is fine to have in your little thing I would replace I don't like cardboard on these things I would replace it with like a little bow or something um we've got a little pair of scissors they sound like they cut will they cut do I have any yarn do I have yarn to test the scissors I'll test the scissors in a minute here we go we've got some yarn here let's no they don't cut they don't cut through cotton very easily 
So don't bite for the scissors. Um, we've got a pile of different types of stitch markers in here. We've got a a stitch ripper. Do, in the comments below, let me know, do you use a, a, a quick stitch unripper? Like I look at these, I can't even, like seriously, I can't get it out. That's how much they don't expect you to use it. I've just moisturized my hands, so that could be it. I can't even open it. Never used one in crocheting in my entire life. I'll just put the, it's probably sharper than the scissors if I could ever get it open. There's, there's gotta be a trick to opening it. Anyway, never used that for crochet. Let's have a look at what else we've got in this little bag of goodies because each one of these is counted as part of our 73 items. Um, I'm perplexed. We have needle toppers, but one large and one small. I've never used these for crochet hooks. Um, I've all, only ever used them for knitting needles. I mean, you can. It does go on. Um, again, anybody ever used a, a needle protector in your crochet? No. But there's a big selection of a couple of different stitch markers here, which I actually really appreciate. We've got the stock standard plastic locks. Um, oops. And they, they feel like they would work, so that's a positive. We have some of these coilless or springless safety pins, which again, I actually like for crochet, which is cool. And these guys, which, you know, I personally hate, but I know some people love them. So there's a, a nice mix and in some cute colors of all the stitch markers. So that's cool. I'll pop those back in their little baggy. With their quick unpick and their needle, stoppers and and like end protectors that's weird it's weird right it's not just me let me know in the description uh, let me know in the comments if it's weird for you some of these things that are being included in in what is a crochet kit um and then we have we have cable needles so so far the things that i would not use for crochet are the cable needles the, the quick unpick and the end stoppers, which they only supply one of each in each size. So that's not even two of each, which, you know, I couldn't sneak those over into my knitting bag because there's not enough. All right, let's have a look at the hooks. Now, you guys know I'm a clover girl. I, I, I love clover. I use my clover hooks or my tulip hooks pretty much constantly and exclusively. Uh, these actually feel not bad. The rubber feels all right. They're a bit chunkier. Where's my tulip? So here's a tulip here. So it's a bit softer than the red tulip. There, It's a tapered head, a tapered shaft on this. Uh, and that moves. So I wouldn't be able to use this one. This one's, what size is this? The two mils out for me because it's broken. So let's pop them all out. It's a really good range of hooks, like it, from the sizes, it goes from two mil to 10 mil. So that's a great range. And like, we're talking 20 bucks. So to put it into context, this whole pack was around 20 Australian dollars. When I order um, my clover hooks, they're around 11 to $12 each. So um, a set of clover hooks, uh, is more like the eighty dollar mark. So you know, I'm trying, I'm trying not to be too picky, okay? But when it doesn't sit, that would just do my head in. Like when it comes, it wiggles. I'd have to glue that in. So that the next one's right. That was it's the for me the two mil is busted. The two and a half feels solid. Um, and it's not as this one was really quite tapered, like. I'd be curious to know which part of this tapering is actually the two mils. I'd have to get my needle gauge out to have a look to check that. Um, and because these aren't in line hooks, I need to get out one of the crochet needle gauges, which in all honesty, I have no idea where mine is right now, so I can't check. But again, we've got a long throat. The throat goes to about there, and then it is the same width all the way from there to there. Um, the hook itself looks all right. Not very deep. 
there in the uh, in the hook, but we'll see how it goes. It feels fine. It's got a good flat section, which I personally like. So I hold my hooks like this. I'm more like that, to be honest. Um, and it seems to be sitting in the right place. So when I have this one, my my finger and thumb are like that, and the hook faces me. Let's see, finger and, and the hook faces me. So that's pointing in the right direction as well, which is great. So what have we got here? We've got a three and a half. Is there no three? We jumped from two and a half to three and a half. Oh, what are you? Are you a three? No, there's a three. Cool, cool, cool. Because I use a lot. Of, I use a three a lot. But again, this is actually a quite, uh, it's not a very, I'm going to, I'll get a close up shot, but this actual tapering is not even, it's not even at all. You'd have to use the same hook for the project all the way through and not switch and change out a project. So I'm very used to, like this one's a four and a half, so it's a bit harder to tell, but I'm used to a thin throat coming into the shaft where the shaft is uniform in shape all the way from just beyond the throat all the way to the handle. This is not that. We've got our thin throat. It goes to there. Then it, it's still thin and then it gets to here before it is its actual size. Let's have a look here. We jump up to the four mils and it's actually a bit more standard like this guy here. It is actually the thin neck up to the uh, thin throat up to the shaft and the shaft is all a solid single length. So you get up to the larger hook sizes and it seems to be better. But when you're in these smaller ones, which I actually do use a fair bit, one of the reasons why I actually decided to just jump in and do it is I only have the one four and a half mil hook right now. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to buy this whole set for this four and a half mil hook. Um, so hopefully I've got some extra bonuses out of it, not just a hook. Uh, but no, they feel fine. They feel solid. And they are metal, metal heads. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what they're made out of. Let me have a, a read here. It doesn't specify. So if you are allergic to things, I would be cautious. Handle with care. This one is, this one's wiggly. The four mil wiggles in and out. I don't like that. What about the four and a half? No, the four and a half is solid. Good, because it's the four and a half I wanted. We go all the way up. So I'm just checking these shafts as we go. It, it seems that as we get to the bigger hooks, the handle has stayed like, it feels because the hook head is longer, the throat goes to here. So I don't think there would be much room to actually get your stitch. I don't think I'd use these larger hooks. Their throats are not as long. If you're just doing one or two projects, I can see it would be okay, but I prefer the longer, the longer shaft on these hooks. So the shorter handle, longer shaft. So that's, that's the difference that I'm comparing to here. So even their four and a half mil, so apples to apples, its handle is still longer than the tulip handle. So I definitely prefer having more space here. Um, but for 20 bucks, like 20 bucks, man, 20 bucks. What? It's solid and the handles don't feel horrible. The, the quality of the metal, there's, it could be, I, I've realized I am actually very fussy with my hooks the more I'm playing with these. I would use these only if I couldn't get my hands on my others. Like this is very smooth. My fingers glide along it. So the yarn glides along it. This is a little, it's still smoothish. I can't imagine there would be a problem. With the smaller hooks, the shaft does feel longer because the, the actual hook itself is quite tiny. But with the l larger hooks, the, the throat is shorter. I've just, I'm just comparing here. The throat is definitely shorter. And because the head takes up such a point before the throat even starts, there's hardly any space on the actual hook. These are the larger ones with the which with what I'm considering the short short shafts, which you know we won't get into. And these ones here are all fine. They, all these ones, the rest are fine. I think they're all a bit short, so that's down to the eight mil. So eight, nine. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, and ten. I probably I would only use in a pinch, honestly. And I, the reality is, I very rarely need a hook that size anyway. Do I even own any hooks that size? I don't know. Anyway, actually, I think I've got a seven. I think I've got a seven, and I've got a fifteen. So, but yeah, I very rarely use hooks that size. This is definitely more my wheelhouse. The 
the sort of two and a half to four and a half is, is more what I use. Now, in saying that, I'm a loose crocheter, so I tend to have to go down hook sizes. So for worsted weight yarns, I tend to use a four or four and a half uh, in, uh, instead of using the five or five and a half, which, which most people would use. So I go down hook sizes. So this set would be, actually be better for me because I go down hook sizes. Just having a look at the six here, the six is borderline. The six, the six throat is def is long enough to use. You definitely get a stitch on there to, to get your right gauge. I think it's a really interesting little set. It gives you everything you need, including a little pouch to put everything in. It gives you a good starting point. If you cannot get your hands on a better quality hook, actually, you know what? The two and a half is quite nice. Yeah. I think maybe just with just a little bit of, you know, love, they might have a coating on them. I'll give it a little, I'll give it a little wipe down, but I just wanted to give you my first impressions as I opened it out of the packaging. Um, I need some yarn. Let's have some yarn. All righty. Let's see how it feels. So, I, I mean, this is, this is not the right hook for this yarn. Okay. Let's, let's, you know, let's not line ourselves up for failure. I can definitely feel it. Um, let me just compare with the other hook. Yeah, I can feel it and I can hear it working on the on the hook. In saying that, my brain does pick up sounds like this. I'm that person who can't handle hearing people eat. It feels lovely. It creates nice stitches. There's no issues there. I'm just going to change to a different hook just to just to try something, just to try one of the other hooks out. Again, I can hear it. I do feel like I'm having to slide it right up to work it out. So what I'm gonna say, I'm going to try and do a project or a small project in the yarn, um, which I will put some more feedback over on the Fiberific Instagram. But would I recommend this set? I probably wouldn't. Truth be told, it's twenty dollars. I know that you know you don't get a lot for twenty dollars, but I am a firm believer in buy a one good hook in a size that you need, and then go from there. Okay, it is. It's it's not a terrible set. Okay, like there are some total bonuses with it. I love the little cactus case huge number of, of weaving needles and the little thing that comes with it is it's actually quite solid I, I love the array of things there are some like what the kind of moments like the scissors don't cut yarn let me see if they cut this other yarn let me just they don't cut cotton so let's see if they cut acrylic they cut acrylic but they don't cut cotton so you know the scissors why do we need cable needles for knitting why do we need a stitch on ripper why do we need point protectors? There are some like what there's in the pack. The, the hooks themselves are pretty solid, but there's loose hooks. So, you know, like there's hooks that I, I would throw away. Like basically if a hook starts moving, I bin it. So which, it was this one. So that one's, that one's gone. There's another one that's gone. Um, it could be just the set that I got. Now I bought this one from Innscraft. So this is the Inns Craft Crochet Hook Set. There are other brands of these beginner hook sets that you could totally try. They might be different. Would I buy it again? Would I gift it to somebody? Would I give it to a beginner crocheter? No, I really wouldn't. I really think that buy them a decent hook, a decent little pair of sharp scissors and a cute little pencil case and a couple of stitch markers and that's what they need. The rest of this like is fluff, like, you know, it's it makes it seem like a good deal because of the number of things that you get. And that's that's not a terrible thing, but the quality of the hooks is subpar. They're loose, they're not evenly tapered, you don't know where on the neat the hook you need to go to get your gauge. The larger hooks would be unusable because you've only got this much space. Like, what is that? That's one centimeter. You've only got a centimeter. So less than half an inch of space where the, the, the hook is actually the right size. For this particular set, that's a no from me. If you want to, if you have your opinions and your feelings, and if you found one of these inexpensive sets that are better, 
let me know. I will definitely want. I want to. I want to find a good, inexpensive set so that I can re recommend it to people. So if you've got suggestions of ones that you've got that you've loved, please let me know, and I'll grab those in and I will check them out. I hope that you continue on your crochet journeys. I will catch you in the next video.